Hey guys, welcome to the Cyberspace VR, and today we're going to be discussing the Oculus Quest 2 release. Very exciting, extremely exciting actually, yeah. revolutionary for the VR world, so this should be good. I am absolutely pumped for this. Um, I've had a couple people reach out to me and say, is this like a good thing? Like, are you excited about it? And I can say with like full, that I fully support the Oculus Quest 2, and we'll jump into the reasons why in a second. Exactly. But. So the Oculus Quest the original one was already revolutionary, revolutionary in itself. It was so incredible. I mean, you pay $400. You don't need to have a PC that can run VR. I mean, amazing, amazing headset. You can play games like Beat Saber. I believe you can even play Super Hot on it. Like yep. a lot of the best VR games out there, you could do with a standalone VR headset. I mean, how incredible is that? Whoever thought that we would get there this soon? I don't know if I was thinking it, but Oculus and Facebook, they were all on top of it. So kudos to them. Amazing. And when the Oculus Quest first came out, I honest, it boggled my mind that they were able to shoot at such a low price point. $399 is crazy cheap for the amount of like hardware and software and work that they put into the Quest, the original Quest. Um, and now we're at the Quest 2, which is a direct upgrade in every way. Well, maybe there's one way that it's a downgrade and that's that it's a lame white. I, I, I don't know why you'd pick white as a device color it makes it look kind of gross especially when it goes on your head and your head gets sweaty when you play beat saber and things like that i mean that could i could get dirty yeah you could be a dirty boy but but other than that it's a direct upgrade and so i actually have the specs pulled up right now and we'll, we'll talk about them um but first and foremost i think the price point is the biggest thing that was surprising to people oh yeah 299 I mean, you upgrade, and so your initial thought is like, okay, maybe it's going to be $500. Maybe it's going to stay at the 400 price, not even. Oculus and Facebook, they're like, heck no, we're going to make VR even more accessible than it already was with the Oculus Quest. We're going to make the Oculus Quest 2, and we're going to drop it down $100. Yeah. Amazing. Awesome. And I'm really excited to see if they choose to really stick with the, the whole link cable route mm -hmm. so that you can use your Quest when connected to a computer, so you can play standard computer games with it. Because if that's the direction they're going, then they might be trying to completely eliminate their, their PC-based line, which would be interesting, right? This is cheaper than the PC-based headset, which is really weird to me. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, why not? I don't know. Whatever it is, I, I think it's great. So that's, that's the price point. I think it's amazing. And it's quite obvious that they're probably taking a loss when they're selling each headset because they're expecting to make money in the future when people are all loyal to the Oculus um, brand. Very smart business strategy. Yep. I, I respect it. <laughs> so now let's jump into the second thing, which is pixels per eye. Um, this was my biggest problem with the original Quest is it was actually a lower resolution than the Oculus Go. I don't, and if, for those of you who had an Oculus Go or used one, pretty low resolution especially yep. like for us we had the HTC Vive and the Go so we would swap back and forth a very noticeable difference so and, and I, I know a lot of people make fun of the Go they're like oh this headset's just for like like it's lame it can't do anything but it was awesome for watching TV and that's what oh, I yeah. used it for um and when the Quest came out and it didn't have as good of a resolution I was kind of bummed I was like Psh I can't watch Netflix on something that's supposed to be mobile. Like, what the heck? So um, this new one, it's got, uh, so the old one had 1440 by 1600 per eye. Now this one's 1832 by 1920, which is awesome. That's a big bump. Um, Does that put it above what the go was at? I believe so. Yeah. Or it's around the same, at, le at least. So um, that's super exciting. Um, I love that. I want to be able to watch TV in VR. That's like the one of the best applications for it. Laying down in bed just chilling with your eyes open, looking at the ceiling, but you're actually in like a theater watching a movie. That's super sweet. Yep. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out our uh, best headset to watch movies uh, video. We talk about that, why the Oculus Go was so good. And just pretend that we're talking about the Quest 2 now because that's basically gonna just beat right. it out. It's $100 more, but you get actual functioning controllers instead of just a pointer. And uh, you know, it's a full blown VR headset. Mm -hmm. It may not be the same as PC VR, but it's getting there. The, the lines are blurring, so. Yeah. Um, another cool thing that not a lot of people think about, but it's lighter. Ah. Um, it's, it's lighter weight, so it's 70 like grams it. lighter. Um, same battery life, at least that's what they claim. A better processor, uh, six gigs of RAM instead of four gigs of RAM. So that's a big up, like, upgrade in my opinion. Uh, same storage size, you can actually go higher on the higher end one. Uh, and yeah, it's other than that. Oh, the other thing that a lot of people bring up and 
I kind of want to clear this up for people is Oculus now requires you to have a Facebook account when you sign in mm -hmm. to it. Like when you start a new account, it's has to be Facebook. Um, and that's, I don't know, people are like, oh, I'm, I hate that Facebook is making me use their stuff. It's like, well, why wouldn't they? You know, they're trying to set up a social platform yeah. on the Oculus. They already have the scale, the, a great structure for that. They already have even monetization schemes for that. Why wouldn't they? It makes yeah. complete sense. And, you know, people, they get all frustrated. It's like, just make a dummy Facebook account. If it really bugs you that much, yeah. just make a fake one and you're fine. Yeah, I mean, everything's gonna, everything nowadays is gonna request and force you to make an account. Like, if you need to make a new YouTube account, whatever, you have to have a Gmail account, things like that. I mean, yep. that's just the world we live in. We're going into an ever more technological based world, and you're going to have to just, yep, almost like suck it up and just deal with the companies making accounts and things like that. So, that's just kind of how it is, but. Right. The, the pro side of that is you have Facebook's wallet, right? Like, they're willing to sink some major dough into the VR mm. um, platform. And I love that. Yeah. I love big companies taking an, a huge investment in virtual reality because that means that we're going to get better and better products. As we can see with the Oculus Quest 2, I'm super excited. I think it's going to be awesome. And that's the thing too, going along with that, when big companies start adopting this technology, that they're gonna, they have the means to make it cheaper for us in the future. Yep. They have the means to make that happen. So that's, that's what we're seeing. Facebook acquired Oculus. They made the Quest, the first Quest, which was amazing and cheap as it was back then. And now they're only just making it cheaper and better. Absolutely. I mean, I mean five years down the road, maybe we see something for $120 that's just as good as this is now or better. Yep. Like that's just what, I mean, you gotta, it's a win-lose, you know, it's bittersweet. Facebook makes you have an account, yep. whatever, but at least they're heading in a good direction with the technology. For sure. I, I, I'm i happy. I, I'm satisfied with what when it came out. I mean, Oculus Quest really isn't that old. It came out, what, like two years ago? Yeah. Maybe. Probably. It's really new. Ago. Year and a half. Yeah. It's very, like, that's a really awesome updating schedule, and it's a big jump in technology for, you know, how little time it's been. I think this is just them saying, okay, we got the Quest out. We realized it had some problems. Let's fix those problems and release a new headset for cheaper than our initial price point. And that's, I, I'm super happy about it. Yeah, um, it's gonna be good. I really, the one thing that worries me is that they're just gonna abandon their PC line of headsets. Um, yeah, that would be a bummer because the Rift S is really, really good. Yep. And there's a certain quality that you, at, at least where the technology is at right now, there's a certain quality and resolution and an overall feel that you can get when you're hooked up to a PC that you just really can't get with a standalone headset. That's yep. just that's just how it is. You know, the PC just brings so much processing power and you know graphics and things like that that you just can't get in this small of a space in a headset. Yet, what's cool is that we're heading in the direction. Things like this, the Quest 2, are putting us more in that direction. However, that could be five years out, 10 years out, so we hope that the Rift S stays around because we love it. It's an awesome headset, revolutionary in itself as well yep. with all the cameras in it and things, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. At the very least, they really need to work on their link cable with this. Yeah, um, I'd be happy with that. Um, I guess the last thing that we need to talk about is they did change their controllers around a little bit. Um, it's hard to make a judgment on a controller until you actually hold it in your hand. Yeah. Um, Cause you can say, oh, that looks like it would be uncomfortable or that looks better than that. But really, you don't know until it's in your hand. I I don't really... I like the Oculus Rift S controllers. They're the same thing as the Oculus Quest. They're just the touch controllers. They're comfortable to me. Um, they feel pretty good. I'm excited to see what these are, if they're any different. Yeah. At the very least, they're going to be better than the HTC Vive controllers. That is for dang sure. Yeah, that is a very low bar. <laughs> but <laughs> Seriously. So, anyway, that's our review on the Oculus Quest 2. Yeah. I only, I mean... Really, only good things that we have to say oh, yeah. about it. Specs looking out or looking good. Everything's checking out. It's going to be better. We know that for sure. Games, we can only assume. I, I mean, there might even be information out there, but we can assume that it's only going to be more and better, and more people are going to support it. And yep. games and software and things like that is just going to keep right. Keep getting better from here. So it's exciting. <laughs> if you have if so, if you're a family, if you're a mom or a dad and you have kids, this is going to be a great headset for you. If you've been looking at headsets and virtual reality you're interested in it you think your kids are going to like it you don't have one yet maybe or maybe you do this is going to be a really good one because you don't have to have the pc if you are a pc gamer and maybe you have the valve index or the rift s 
might not be the best purchase. You might not need it, you yeah. know, because you already have something that's hooked up to a PC. You're going to have more power anyways from that. Uh, unless you do a lot of, you know, bringing your headset around to friends and parties and things like that, then this could be a really good switch. Yep. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, if you're curious about getting into VR for like the entertainment, like watching movies and stuff, I think investing in something like this is, is a great plan. There's, there's no reason not to. I also, yeah. uh, um, I like what you said about the family thing. I think that's very important because right now, um, as a lot of you know, the console wars are getting started, right? The Xbox just announced, announced their new um, two console like yeah. thing and we'll see how that goes, but there it's the same price, right? The Oculus Quest 2 is the same price as an Xbox Series S. Uh, so, I don't know. It, if I were a parent and my kids were like, oh, I want an Xbox Series S or an Oculus Rift or uh, Oculus Quest, I'd get them the Quest because they're gonna be more active. They're gonna be more inclined to like play, right? You're playing in, a, in an area and then you, you get tired after playing in, in VR. And I think that's a really good thing for kids, right? Yeah. It's like, you can, active. you can sit and look at a screen all day and play video games and you don't get tired because your body's not doing anything. But in, in the quest, you're going to get some exercise. Yep. So I think that that's a really crucial and really exciting for parenting the future. Yeah, really good move as a parent. We would respect that. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, just to kind of wrap things up, I remember, gosh, it must have been 2010. I don't know. I was in middle school and I was talking with one of my buddies. You might have been there. His name was Tyler. Really good kid. But it was his dream to, he was he was really into video games. He loved them, and it was his dream to be able to put himself in the game. You know, to have a headset or something, and that's happening. We have made it. You know, and I'm, yep. I'll have to talk to him about it. And be like, do you remember when you said that would be the coolest thing ever? We're there, and it's only getting cooler with the quest. It's only getting easier, more accessible. Uh, really cool what we can do nowadays with with virtual reality. So. Thanks again for watching, guys and girls. Anyone who tends to be watching, we really appreciate you. Please go ahead and subscribe. We uh, saw some momentum in our channel. It gave us a lot of motivation to keep going and keep pumping out videos. Like, comment, tell us what you think about the Quest 2. Do you think it's going to be awesome or a flop? Are you stoked or are you not? Yep. Uh, Did yeah, you get know. the pre-order? <laughs> yeah, that'd be sweet. I, I might be thinking about jumping jumping in on that. So Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So. But. Yeah, if, if you're interested in, in looking and learning more about virtual reality, check out our website, www.vrinformers.com. Look at our channel, the Cyberspace VR. We got lots of cool stuff. So we'll see you next time. Appreciate you being here. Yep. <laughs> Dead.